Oh, good day. In this video, I wanted to show you some more things about Stongsi. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to indicators Stongsi, and then immediately it pops up on the screen. I have it set into different background colors. So give me a moment to reset those. So I then go to settings and default reset settings. So, so once you load up Stongsi, it looks like this. Well, what we can actually see and also how we can use Tongsi, there are multiple ways. I'm currently at the Bitcoin chart on the one hour. So what can we do? Because we see some background colors and also some lines. So at first we're going to focus a little bit on the lines. So let me turn off background color. So now you can see background color disappears again. Well, let's make this a little bit bigger. And what can we actually see? Well, we have a dark red area. We have a light red area. We have a dark green area and a light green area. We also have the minus zero and uh, sorry, the minus one and the plus one and a zero line. So how can we actually read this? Well, as soon as price is actually below the zero line towards minus uh, minus one, that means that price direction is bearish. Well, we can use the momentum indicator for it and basically look at when the price is actually, when Stongsi indicates it's dark red, that means there is a strong bearish momentum. As soon as Stongsi turns into light red or pink even, then that means that the strong bearish momentum is starting to cool off. So then we have that dark green color that indicates that there is a strong bullish momentum. We also have the light green color here on top, for example, and that means that there is still bullish momentum, but it is slowing down. Well, you can also see here that the color turned from light green into dark green again. That means that the bullish momentum is picking up again. So that is already something at how you can actually look at Stonksy and how to trade it, because you can make a strategy where you're going to say, I'm going to make an entry as soon as we hit a strong bullish momentum for a long position, or you're going to say, I'm going to short markets as soon as I see a strong uh, uh, bearish dark red line. Well, those are a couple of opportunities. What you can also do is uh, combine this with support and resistance, and then you're going to look for when the price or when the color is actually changing from dark red to, uh, to pink or to light red, and you trade it all the way up till the price actually moves back to light green. That is where you make your exit again. So there are a couple of different ways. Well, another way is actually, if we go to settings and I turn on the background color again, is that you can trade it based on the background. And that means as soon as you see red, is that means that you can take a short position. When you see a green background, that means you can look for a long position. So how I usually have set it up is I have my first Stonksy indicator on the lows, and I also want to add one on the highs. So what I will do is I say move to, and I move it to my chart. But as you can see now, well, we got all these lines uh, uh, on the chart, and we still want to read the chart, of course. So we're going to settings, and there we're going to get rid of plot and lines. Now we are only left with the background colors on Bitcoin. And as you can see, um, Stongsi indicates when you actually want to consider that long position or when to consider that short position. So, but I want more information. So what I need to do is I need to go to indicators and then again, I press Tongsi once more, and now it shows up also on the lower side. I will go to settings, reset this to normal, and now you can see how the background color is even over the entire screen, and you can also read the graph. So 
this is a very easy way of actually confirming a direction of trend and also how bullish is that momentum do you want to take a position yes or no well we can make some measured moves for example like if we uh, take a look at when Stonksy actually indicates to take a long position well you can see here that the color uh, got from dark red to uh, to light red and then into a bullish momentum so you can also see that the background color is green so let's say you had a bad entry because maybe you're still practicing so i'm going to take it a little bit higher than where Stonksy actually said enter well if we measure this to the end where Stonksy actually goes bearish again that means you could have taken a 4.12 percent trade and you can perfect that of course by taking an exit earlier so for example looking at the color uh, change in the line and if you go over that so what i can do is if i go to vertical line i will set it here on the top now you can actually see where the line already start to cooling off that momentum so if you look at the combination of both and we're going to say from here all the way to up here we're talking about a 6.72% uh, move that you can trade for the background color. And this was a long position. Well, you can see it catches all sorts of positions. As soon as there is actually no background color, that also means there is no reason to take a trade because Tongsi is not identifying a position and is not taking a trade. So that is basically how you can look at some of the background colors. Well, it also goes the other way around. If we look at the moment where the line actually got crossed for a bearish direction, let me take my vertical line and I will set it over here so you can actually see how that one goes to plan. So, Stonksy crossed bearish right here. That means you have already a potential entry for a short position. As soon as the background color also turns red that means you have a double confirmation to go short well if we only would focus on that background color and maybe you wait for an hour for a confirmation and we're going to measure that move until it got green again we're talking about a 6.61 percent move that you can actually trade on bitcoin in combination with stonksy well this is just a repeating process like it comes down to your own trading skills how good you actually are but i think that um, especially while using stonksy it makes trading a lot easier because it tells you actually when to enter and exit a position so i think that those type of positions are actually pretty good like uh, six percent gain to the upside six percent gain to the downside if we go a bit further you can also see that sometimes stonksy says get out of the trade well, that means you can close the trade and you wait for the confirmation for it to turn red again and you enter a new short position. Well, also over here, it said go long for a little bit and an hour later it closed the position already. So just follow Stonksy and close that position. Well, over here again, you can see we turned red again. And if we measure that move all the way till when we got bullish again. So from here and now you can actually also look again to the lower side so at the line where you can actually see that oh momentum is changing that also would result in a 4.58 uh, percent short position well again you can see stonksy says oh maybe you could consider that long position but yeah it's not always right but it is i think it's more than 90 percent of the time it is right well the last time Stonksy actually said take that short is also a massive short position so it said go short and you can also see it here on the line again is that we had the change in momentum so as soon as i'm going to measure it out this out well that means if you have a support level in place talking uh, let's take it a little bit higher well it's still talking about an eight point uh, 68% trade. If you're only going to trade it till the point where Stonksy actually said 
oh, maybe we're going for an, uh, for a uh, reversal in trend. So that means I'm looking here at the line on the lows. Well, then still you're catching a 6.82% trade or 6.8% trade. If I would taken this one all the way till Stonksy actually said close the trade, you're looking at um, uh, pretty much a well, 4.5% 4, 4 short position. Well, you, you don't need to know a lot about trading to actually use this, uh, as long as you use, of course, correct risk management and stuff like that, but that all comes down to the user. So every time that we actually see how so how, how good the positions are well there are a lot of opportunities every day and as soon as Stonksy isn't sure about the position like here for example you can zoom in a little bit it does not take a trade so that means if you're trading with Stonksy and Stonksy says there is no background color don't take the trade as soon as Stonksy says oh there is a bullish green background color you can take the position if you combine this with support and resistance trading, well, you got a very good trading strategy already. So, well, I think that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you have any questions, always uh, leave them in the comment section. Check out the Stonksy website. And uh, thank you all for watching. Have a good one. Bye bye.